Here's an update on my leather work with this passport holder. Welcome to Ronan's Corner and I'm going to do another one of Couture's leather projects from my friend for Xmas. So the body's about five to six weight leather. Here's the difference between a two to three weight to a five to six weight leather. The two to three will be used for the pockets. The little difference makes quite an improvement. Here I'm squaring the leather to know what to cut. The cork back metal ruler helps me make a straight cut. Otherwise I couldn't cut a straight line to save my life. Once again, I need to sand and burnish the pockets. Refer to my other video to see a little bit more about that. Rough up the smooth side, not by picking a fight. Glue each side and wait till tacky. Mark the middle for the inner pocket stitch. Mark the stitch line. Hammering in the holes for the stitches takes far more force than anticipated, so later I needed to take it to a firmer place than the table, my apartment's basement. I'd open those holes with an awl in order to stitch. Hmm, what color to go with? Hmm. This is a saddle stitch with two needles. Changing needles after one full rotation from the front to the back to the front. I'll leave a card in the corner to show where I learned it. Sorry, blank. Cut and melt the thread. On the outside, I'm debossing a design with my Cricut Maker. Look at all the holes from the irons. Without the two layers, I will have driven right all the way through and dull the tips. Here's my final results. Three hours of stitching on the outside alone a mistake trying to darken the leather with a sharpie. A smooth hand is required, or just don't do it. There's no way to remove it once it's in the unfinished leather. That's where you see all this discoloration of me trying to remove it. Learn from my mistake. Experiment first rather than testing on a finished product. RIP. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what other things you'd like to see.